Okay, so 2017, we now have Power Rangers back on the big screen. They did it. They actually did it. Uncle Chad. So look, I'm not going to spoil anything in this film. I almost had a few things spoiled for me by a few people online. Um, well, I actually did have one thing spoiled for me, but that's okay. Uh, it, it didn't impact the story or anything of the like, or the movie itself. Um, like, if they weren't there, if they turned out not to be there, it wouldn't have ruined anything, but that's besides the point, but wow. Okay, I'll get this right off the bat. Um, the budget of like a hundred million dollars is within like half an hour at the end of the movie. <laughs> you know, and granted, I mean, what what are you gonna expect? But that's not a that's not a negative point. I actually enjoyed the vast majority of the movie before that even started. Like I was enjoying the characters, I was enjoying the teenagers and their journey and their story and finding each other and stuff. Like man, I didn't expect that going in. Um, I did hear a few things about you know morphing doesn't happen a lot, and I was like, Ugh, okay, so what's the go with the budget? But in context, when you see the movie. I didn't really find myself caring. Like I was just, I was enjoying this story unfolding in front of me, uh, not even thinking about okay, when are they going to morph, kind of thing. Um, so that's great, <laughs> but that's a good thing. If the movie, I'm a, I'm a big Power Ranger fan. Like, fuck, I, I wore this to the cinema, uh, repping Austin St. John and his legacy, Red Ranger being Gold Ranger. Uh, He's my favorite, man. Like, uh, Austin St. John is a total dude. I've met him. Um, I've met the original four dudes uh, of the Power Rangers. I've not yet to meet uh, Amy Jo Johnson, and I'll never meet Tui Trang, obviously, for physical reasons. Uh, fans of us know why. Um, so, look, I, I have a long lineage of Power Ranger fandom going all the way back to when I was in primary school. 1994, 93, 94, when the list went down. Mate. Um, look, I had, I had my reservations when I when I heard they were doing a Power Rangers film. Part of me was like, yes, finally, awesome! I can't wait. It's about time. I mean, CG's there. It's not that expensive to be able to do the kinds of things now, uh, relatively well, without a massive overblown budget. And yeah, look, I mean, the the film quality as a whole of, of the movie is great. Like, it's it's been done with such care and love. I didn't expect that. I thought, cool, this director, um, he would have just jumped on, quick cash grab, Power Rangers, cool, whatever. Just, you know, give me the check, send it to me. But no, man, like, the whole film is legit. It's not just an easy cash grab. It's not just, yeah, let's just make one, see what happens. It's, um, good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Like, I was smiling all the way home going, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, all the way home, I was like, "God damn it!" Ah, uh, yes. I'm glad. I'm just so happy. Like, yeah, I have my. Uh, there's a few things where I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah," but as a whole, uh, and, and that's just being the fan. As a whole, being someone that's not familiar with the property, uh, wouldn't even get anyway. So look, I'm. I'm not. I'm not going to give too much away, but the Rangers, the cast. Man, were they knocking it out of the park. Like, you could tell that they're just like, I don't know what their mindset was, but it's just like, okay, we are in this Power Ranger film. This could be big, this could be bad, but let's give it everything we have. And yeah, man, wow. Like, they're real. Like, that's just, I, I was so invested in that world that these actors were making me believe. And, you know, the direction was there and everything. I, I'm sold on these ranges. I can't wait for the second one. Like, they're just... They're so fully formed, each one of them. It's not just a cookie cutter, you know, let's stencil this kind of character and that guy can be that and this girl can be that. Um, they're diverse, yes, granted, but Power Rangers has always had diverse range of characters, like different colors, you know, different creeds, all that kind of stuff. So that's there, and that's great. Uh, I think that's what this movie does the best, is the characters. Man, like, the, the world that they were building was so good. Even even when you start getting into the Extraordinary with Zordon and Alpha, like, even they weren't laughable, surprisingly. I did I did think going in, like, God, how the hell are they going to do this? Especially Alpha. 
let alone Zorda on the floating head in the wall. Like, I was sold. Like, it just felt legit. And it, man, it didn't pull any punches. It's not kid, it's not like a kid's film. I'll, I'll say that much. Man, like, it's not a kid's film. You, you don't go into this feeling like it's going to be dumb for you. Um, it's just like, this is how it is. Cop it. And it's quite mature, considering. Uh, I was, I was actually very pleased about that. I, I didn't, like, I know it's, it's a movie for us, me, the fans of Mighty Morphin back in the day. It's a, it's a movie for us, but you can tell where they've tried to modernize it for today's generation. And let's face it, like, today's generation are a lot more mature than we were, uh, when we were younger, for better or worse, but, uh, so they can stomach and understand more younger these days which is very strange for me to say it was refreshing i i, I, I wasn't like spoon fed anything i wasn't coddled i wasn't handheld to the film um it just felt real like teenagers really would be today like in friends that i used to know and man like god i can't rave see i'm, I'm spending most of my review talking about the characters yet not let alone any of the power ranger stuff so that's what i'm trying to get across like it's a good movie a good film just with the power ranger skin on it you know, if, if that makes any sense. And like, to stick with the positives for a little bit more. Man, the suits work. God damn it. I want a premium format statue of Red Ranger, mate. Oh, sold that. That suit looks so badass. I love it. A lot of people in the beginning are like, You don't like these suits? What the hell? But in the context of the film, it works. And when you see it in motion, it works. Uh, my only gripe is you don't see it enough in action. Like, damn. Like, that, that really, like, yeah. I mean... When they're right saying there's not enough, like, morphing action in it, that's kind of true. Um, and yeah, I, I do feel a little bit like, man, I could have done with a couple extra more kind of fight scenes or something. Or, you know, spectacle uh, fight set pieces, at least. I mean, it's Power Rangers. Most of the shows they're doing, they spend most of the time fighting, you know. Um, but, you know, that, that's, that's a little gripe. I guess that'll be a negative. I'll sprinkle it in here. But the other good, man... I mean, for the budget, 100 million, I think, was the total um, of the movie. I don't think that includes marketing yet, but I mean, there's a lot of CG in this movie. And yeah, you can tell the most of the production went into the last kind of act, third act of the film, which is fair. I mean, that's you're rounding out the movie and you're going out with a bang, and there's a lot to do. Uh, I'm not spoiling anything, but there was a lot happening. Um, it wasn't just like, blah, 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 I'm done. It was actually kind of, you know, spread out enough uh, to give you satisfaction. <laughs> oh man, yeah, and a lot of the jokes, man, they hit, but like, I was in a pretty packed cinema, I was surprised. Like, I, I had a pre-screening story on my Facebook page, uh, basically saying like, fuck, like my anxiety was, I'm pretty sure I have some form of anxiety. I don't do well in public anymore, for some reason, like I just feel like, Everyone's looking at me, or I'm just so uncomfortable, kind of thing. I'm breaking out in a sweat, just like fuck. I just want to get out of here. But um, uh, the the whole crowd of people, um, as soon as Beauty and the Beast door opened, like in our seating, whoosh, like the whole crowd left, like the whole room just left. And I was like, oh, 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 oh <laughs> this isn't good. Like I'm like here with a handful of people left. Ugh. Oh god, you know, I thought, shit, is this how it's gonna go? But, no. <laughs> like, I got up there first, I was like one of the first three people in the room, and then they just kept kept coming, kept coming. Like, even when the trailers were running, the room was just filling. And yeah, like, maybe there was a row left, and the whole room was full. So, starting off that, I was like, oh, this is good, you know, people are coming out for this, and I just hope this movie's good. And, you know, ranting on now, like, obviously, I'm, I'm over the moon with it. Just saying, like, in 2017, I mean, that companies are starting to really take the risks now because they know there's fan base there for it, but this could have been really bad. Like, it, this could have been really bad. And after seeing it, I don't know how... I, don't, I either don't want to know or I don't know how they would have done it otherwise. I, I think the way this has been handled, it's very, very honest and, you know fans will love it if you've seen the 94 95 film man like it's still cool i love it for a nostalgia thing but goddamn wouldn't work today like there is a little bit of cheese in this movie but not like 
it's got maybe an eighth of the cheese of the the 95 movie did an eighth like you know of that so look I'm, I'm going on about the movie like i'm just really excited i literally just came home just to talk about this and get my review up but zordon holy crap zordon i'm sold on him like brian cranston god damn like this isn't your you know wise soft-spoken you know over overlord type um omni omniscient being in a tube where he's like very very honest and friendly and wise he's kind of like fucking hell <laughs> god damn it just be rangers god Duh. you know he's just sort of really trying to hammer it home like god damn it just go home kind of thing like i'm kind of overdoing it but there were certain parts where he's like get down to the pit you know the training pit it's like oh you know he's getting frustrated like why can't why can't you morph yet what the hell uh, and then that they fail and he scolds them back to the pit you know <laughs> to fight some more and train man they get bloodied up like they're, they're scraped and you know coughing up blood and like yeah it's cool like it's you know uh, i i respect it for that um for allowing it to be like here you go you know stomach it uh it doesn't doesn't sugarcoat anything and even alpha five he wasn't annoying at all like i saw one clip online going in i'm like oh god no but man no he's not annoying he's just funny like he, he he's just like yeah i'm alpha you know i don't give a shit but do the zordon thing so that was cool like bill Hader. that was i, I think he would have had a bit of fun with it but I, I like brian cranston zordon like he just feels like a dude not again not spoiling anything but he looks like a dude who's like frustrated with his predicament <laughs> and he wants to get out of it but um also trying to guide these teenagers to save the earth and so some of you have probably seen some of the articles online about um the diversity that i talked about um where it's like alluded to of these particular characters like you know one's got autism one's a lesbian you know all this kind of stuff and that's cool um again like power rangers has always been diverse in every season and i i've seen if i've seen a whole heap of seasons right and if the cast if the power rangers like it's a kid show the actual show itself is still a kid show let's face it but if i'm not sold on the rangers characters like i don't really get invested too much in the show um so they nailed that here as i touched on earlier but they also kind of gave you an insight um into their home life and it kind of helps you round the character a bit more and their motivations and why they're acting the way they are um these are troubled kids man like these aren't the wholesome um you know the teenagers that your mums would be proud to have type back in the day like uh, that was one of the reasons i loved the original mighty Morphin when i was a kid because i was like oh like i want to be like them like they're great examples like, i didn't understand at the time but now i was looking back thinking teenagers like they were good examples to look up to and i did like as a kid i looked up to them and in that aspect like these kids i wouldn't look up to these kids at all um just saying uh, quite flatly i don't know if this is how kids are today but <laughs> you know if that's a reflection on how they are goddamn, um i i don't look up to them at all but you know they grow through the movie they change you know they wisen up blah 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 but yeah holy crap man um but some of their stories are a bit tragic like you know it really kind of goes oh fuck you know i feel bad for them or you know them whatever like their predicament their life their story it's like oh damn um that's rough but it's real there's real kids out there like that and that's good and that's how they're kind of targeting this film is very real and you could see these kids you could just pluck them out and like that kid's story could be that and i respect that i, res I actually respect this film a lot but like, i've said that a few times now and it's just kind of dawning on me like yeah i respect this film it's cool so you know i've kind of raved about this film it's good like see it see it i want sequels if it's like this every time but like more budget to do more gimme 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 go see the film and support it fire out god i hope this is not something that everyone's gonna shit on because everybody shits on my dc comics universe my dceu my movies everybody's shitting on that and i can't i'm not allowed to love that the way i want to so don't shit on power rangers it's almost the only thing i've got left <laughs> so going into some of the negatives so one of the weakest points of this film is a bit of marvel syndrome is the villain um rita repulsa campy as hell i mean how else are you gonna do it but surprisingly some of the scenes she was in were creepy as hell <laughs> like yeah I, I liked what they did with her but when they had to introduce some of her menage i'll say uh from the original show it's like yeah 
Rita really was really cheesy, wasn't she? <laughs> like kind of one dimensional. And that's kind of how uh, how it's played out here. But when when they've allowed themselves to kind of do a little different, it works. Like I really liked how creepy and like freaky she was. So that was cool. And yeah, like there's not, not a lot of morphing in it, which is like, yeah, could have done a little more, but I, I loved everything else so much where I'm like, ah, kind of torn, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And like the Megazord, not entirely sold on how they formed the Megazord without spoiling anything. But going in, I wasn't even quite sold on the, the design of the Megazord. The individual Zords themselves, yeah, I was like, yeah, they look awesome, cool. You know, what would you expect? Alien uh, robots. Um, they're going to have some kind of alien design influence on dinosaurs, like, yeah, whatever. Oh, that's the other thing I really love, how the intro of the movie, holy crap, badass, so cool. Gives you a little hint of backstory behind Zordon and uh, Alpha and Rita, just off the bat. Uh, how they're doing it in this reboot, oh, it's so good. But yeah, back back to negatives. I mean, that, that's the thing. I keep going. I keep going back to some positives of this film. I actually really enjoyed this film. I'm finding it hard to pick a nitpick. Like, I mean, yeah, it might have slowed in the middle, but every movie does. It gives you time to breathe and kind of process what's going on, and um, that's fine. I, I didn't find issue with that. The pacing of the movie is good, man. It was fun. Like this movie was fun. I know I'm trying to go back to the negatives, but this was just fun. Like it, it, it took itself seriously without being too serious like it just felt real it was it was just in the middle like the this, the good spot yeah I'm really trying to think of some negatives here yeah that's pretty much it hey like <laughs> kind of readers cheesiness and not enough fighting like morphing scenes um otherwise yeah like it's it's everything you want in a power rangers film i mean if you go into this thinking dark knight man of steel which is a masterpiece by the way oh and also about man of steel they've I think a strong influence has been taken from Man of Steel in this film. I got that sense. Uh, like, Man of Steel is near a masterpiece. I don't care what anyone says. And this film, I think, has really taken some liberty from that in Zordon's spaceship and the, the, the design of it. And um, the Kelex robot. Um, like, you know, Kal-El's assistant, Kelex, that little uh, floating robot with a little bit inside it. Um, that's kind of like the Kryptonian kind of holograph um, design where it's all, you know, looks like that thing you put your face in and the metal things make the thing, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, Zordon's like that. It's very Man of Steely. That's the feel that I got from it. And it's, it's goddamn obvious. Yeah, look, negatives. I, yeah, I do, yeah, I can't. I just can't. If anything, the only other negative is like, damn, there's not another one tomorrow. Because that cliffhanger, mate. Well, not really cliffhanger, but stick around. After the credits, um, there's a mid credit scene. Uh, just little Easter eggs in there. Oh, Easter eggs! Oh, yeah, Easter eggs in this film. Uh, if you haven't seen anything outside of Mighty Morphin, at least season one, um, you're probably not going to get most of it. But yeah, I was sitting there going, ooh, ah, ooh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I was picking up all these little nuggets. And I'm like, oh, this is fun. Like, that's what I mean. It's for me. People like me, fans. Like, we're going to get a lot out of this. And I hope the fans support this film. I mean, the, the worldwide audience, I'm pretty sure it's going to make its money back and then some. Um, kids, The kids in the cinema, they were right into it and laughing and having fun with the rest of us. Like, there was lots of laughter in this film, which is good. Um, the crowd were really into it. So if it's like that everywhere else, I think, I think we've got another hit on our hands. And I really want this to be... Like, the Transformers films, God, no, just go away. Like, I just, I'm, I don't like them. I, I don't know how they're making so much money they are. Um, it's just, yeah, cool, you can turn your brain off and watch some robots smash each other. Transformers is so much more than that. I don't like what they're doing with it. Um, so, if Power Rangers can come in and be that next big franchise, I so hope it can be. Because uh, there's so much lore with Power Rangers. You can do so much with it. I mean, there's 23 seasons to pull from over 23 years. I mean, it's still a viable concept. You can do it. It's amazing what you can pull from it. And there's such, such content to pull that you can make into movies. Like this kind of... Uh, no, I can't. It's going to spoil it. No, I can't. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going on here. I, uh, I'm really trying to be honest here and not being just honeymoon period of this movie. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll see it again. I want to do a spoiler talk because, goddamn, Power Rangers, mate, I need to. Uh, so I'll, I'll see this movie again 
uh, maybe like a week later or something, um, I'll put up a video a spoiler talk. Because if I see it again, I might pick up some more and I might kind of have a bit more rounded opinion. But for now, if I've left the movie in such a happy mood and satisfied mood with this as a parent of fan uh, that I am, that's got to say something. Uh, they've done a good job. Uh, Lionsgate, well done. The director, I'm so sorry I forgot your name right now. I knew one of them in my home. Dino's, Dino's real life, that's right. Um, good job. So glad whoever was in control put the love and attention and effort into this movie to make it what it was because it could have been so bad. So round of applause to all involved. Uh, and thanks to Saban, if you had any kind of control over this, thanks for not making it an absolute cheese fest like the rest of your seasons are. Um, thanks for letting them make it something that the world can consume. Uh, and enjoy and latch on to. Um, if you had any kind of say in allowing that happening, thanks. Because, goddamn, if it's anything like the 23 years worth of Power Rangers where it's just aimed directly at kids, like little kids, and cheesy as hell, this movie would have bombed. Just think Turbo Power Rangers movie. We could not have that ever again. Ever again. It only made $9 million worldwide, so... I think you might have learnt your lesson there. So look, rounding up, look, uh, I can't, I, I could go on for ages. I'm actually very happy and um, proud of this film. Go see it, come back and talk to me about what you thought. Please don't spoil things for people. Just let people enjoy the movie themselves and experience it for them. Uh, if you're gonna make comments about spoilers in, in the comments below, uh, put a big like spoilers and asterisks and you know, put some spaces in between your comments so there's that read more thing. Um, I would respect you a lot for that. So yeah, I, I'm going to round this up, edit this video, put it up, and yeah, just think and process some more and figure out when the hell I can go see it again. So yeah, Power Rangers, good job. Good job. Oh man.